Cloning is needed for a number of reasons dependent on the species. In agricultural species it's a way of actually multiplying up elite animals to disseminate good quality genetics rapidly, more rapidly around the world. And people say, well, this gets rid of genetic diversity, but it doesn't really. It just helps us get, get the good genetics out there quicker. And this is what farmers have been doing for years. So it accelerates it. But also in agriculture, we can possibly use genetic modification to try and make some of the animals resistant to diseases. This is uh, you know, not only economic, but it also has effects on animal health. So the animals are healthier. It's economic, the farmer doesn't have to treat them, but also it has a different effect because we don't have to use antibiotics, etc., on the animals, so therefore we, we don't stand a chance of breeding antibiotic-resistant bacteria as we have done in the past. But in other, other aspects, um, you know, uh, cloning in some species may just be for medical research, cloning for genetic modification to produce products for human therapeutic use. Cloning humans is quite probably possible, yes. I mean, there are no reasons it's not possible. Um, there are reports of the production of human embryos by so-called cloning, so cloning technique. Um, in the majority of countries, it's illegal to transfer those embryos to a surrogate recipient. I think at the present time, it would be foolhardy if anyone ever did that because of the lack of knowledge of interactions occurring during the cloning process in human embryos. I mean the major barriers to cloning in humans and this is the major barrier to cloning human embryos just produce uh, embryos producing stem cells for human therapies is the availability of good quality eggs. We, we don't have an availability of human eggs to do that work with which is why people have suggested we can possibly make hybrid embryos with eggs from other species. But in my hands, in my laboratory, that has not worked.